Thank you for coming to this broadcast. The Lord bless you. Today we are looking at a very important topic, the biblical prophecy. Before we start, let us have a short moment of prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you because all knowledge belongs to you. Thou art the Lord that revealeth secret to your servant and to all men. You are the God that of revelation. Father, even as we go into your word, open our eyes of understanding. Give us deep revelation so that we will not walk in darkness. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So one thing you have to know is that the word of God gives us revelation. It gives us revelational knowledge. And when the Holy Spirit enters into the world, there is illumination of the world. You begin to see it in a practical dimension. Now, before we go ahead with today's topic, I will read an anchor verse, then we take our flight. Our anchor verse is Daniel chapter 2, verse 22. I read, he revealed the deep and secret things. He knoweth what is in the darkness. And the light dwelleth with him. God is a God of revelation. He revealed deep and secret things. There are things we don't know, but when you go deep into the Bible, revelation and knowledge will be given to you. And the Holy Spirit illuminates it. And makes it practical. So, like I told you today, we are looking at the place of Iran and Russia in biblical prophecy. Place of Iran and Russia in biblical prophecy. Now, we have read the anchor verse that tells us that. God gives revelation. He gives deep knowledge. There is nothing that happens, nothing that you see without the awareness of God. God maketh all things and tell you beforehand. He told us that Jesus Christ is coming back and he gave us signs to show that his coming is imminent, is close. Or closer than when we believe. He told us that there will be war and there will be rumors of war. And one of the people, or let me say, country or nation that will be involved in this war is Iran and, and Russia. I'm going to take you straight into the Bible to see what. Ezekiel prophesied even before now. We are reading the book of Ezekiel chapter 38. Ezekiel 38 gave us a prophecy of collision that will take place in the end time. Collision of nations that will come together and fight war against Israel. Not only against Israel, by implication, they will fight war against the allies of Israel so that they can get to Israel. When a man want to get to a particular family, let's assume the man have issue with another man in that particular family the man can go through the wife or the children to stir up the anger of that man. That is what you are going to see in this end time. Now let's read the book of Ezekiel chapter 38. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Gog, and the land of Magog, and the chief prince of Meshech, and Tuba, 
and prophesy against him. Now, the God is prophesying against this set of nations, Gog and Magog, Meshel and Tuba. Now, Meshel is this modern Turkey. Meshel is the modern Turkey. That is why you see Turkey having alliance with Russia because it is prophecy. It is prophecy. If that, that president or whoever is the head does not do it, another one will do it. It is prophecy. The coalition is bound to happen. You see the, the war between Ukraine and um, Russia. You see how Turkey supported um, Russia. They, they encouraged them and work against Ukraine. Now, this is prophecy. When we talk about Meshel, Meshel is the modern Turkey. In verse 3, and say, Thus says the Lord God, Behold, I am against thee, O Gog, the chief prince of Meshel. God is against them. God is against them. That's why you see that Turkey was initially a, a place that was win for Christ, suddenly turn and become another nation, which was no longer for Christ. These are prophecies. It's coming to pass. We are seeing it practically. Then when we go down in verse 4, and I will turn thee back and put hook onto the jaws, and we bring thee forth, and all thy armies, oxes, and oxmen, all of them clothed with sort of armor, even a great company with buckler and shield, all of them handling sword, handling sword, handling sword. God is against them. Let me mention them now. In verse 5, God mentioned them. Persia. Ethiopia and Libya, them, all of them with shield and helmet, Goma and all the band, the house of Togama of the north quarter, and the band and many people with thee. So you see that these nations are going to form a coalition. When you read verse 7, it said, Be thou prepared and prepared for thyself. Thou and all thy company, thou and all thy company that are assembled unto thee, and be thou a guard against them. They will come together to form a coalition. The process has already begun. The process of the coalition has already begun. That is why you see Iran and Russia and Turkey, and very soon they have sent a peace accord to Libya. Now, the Persia, when you see the word Persia in verse 5, Persia is the old name for Iran. Iran is the modern name. When we talk about Persia, you know, Persia was the nation that was overcome by the Babylonian Empire. They were the superpower at that time. That is why you see them still want to exercise that power. They are not exercising it just like that. It is inherent in them that, oh, we are this, we, we are one time superpower. So you see them inherent. Persia is, was the uh, old name for Iran. The, so the modern today, what we call it is Iran. The modern name or the modern Iran represent Persia. In verse 5, it says Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya, with them all. The Goma, the Goma there is um, Russia, Southern Russia, the, the modern Russia that we have today. The Goma, because it said in verse 6, the Goma and all is burnt. 
So you see that there's going to be a collation. A collation that will involve Iran, a collation that will involve Russia, Russia, which is the old name is Goma, Iran, which the old name is Persia, Meshel, which the old name, which the, which the new name is um, Turkey, modern Turkey. We have Libya, which they are forming a peace accord now. Iran is forming a peace accord with uh, Libya. Then Ethiopia. Ethiopia, I have not seen Ethiopia yet. But this coalition will begin to happen now. And the, nation, the world needs to be prayerful. Because of this Iran. Because of Iran and Russia. We are praying and believing God that God will show us mercy. So we see when we are seeing a preparation for war, we should not be we should not look at it as it's a new thing. Because these things have been prophesied in the word of God. We knew that Iran in the 70s, during the time of Ayatollah, were in peace accord with America and Israel. But down the throne, we have Suleiman, the quasi Suleiman, which was assassinated during the strike of the US. And that grievance is still on up to today. You see, the grievance in Iran is still on because of the death of uh, quasi Suleiman which was a, a military um, officer and the, the, the head of, um, of uh, Iran as at 2020 when he, was, when he was assassinated by the strike. So we are going to be prayerful. We're going to pray for Israel because the coalition, according to the prophecy of the Bible, is against Israel. Even if the rapture has not taken place, even if we have not entered the great tribulations, these things will start to happen. When the Bible tells us that there will be antichrist during the time of the great tribulation, even now the Bible says there are antichrists even in the church. And the Bible told us that we should be careful because the antichrist has sneaked into the church. The antichrist is in the world. What we are seeing today that Putin is with is acting on is the spirit of antichrist that spirit is against christ against the people of christ so when you see putin putin is fighting ukraine now zelinki zelinki which is the the president of um, ukraine is related to israel carry out your research very well is related to israel and the covenant covering Israel is that no weapon fashioned against them will prosper. So no matter how Putin does, Putin will surely be put to shame, will surely be disgraced. I've, I've sent this out to one of my videos when I said Putin will go down. I said from June last month Putin is going to go down. You will see it. I saw in a vision where Putin was arrested and prosecuted he will face trial miserable death await him because these are people that they are representing the antichrist they don't want the gospel to be preached in their nation and they don't want to see that people are happy people are you know living in harmony they they test for blood they are against israel so watch out and pray watch and pray pray for Israel because the coalition is against Israel I'm going to read it out and thou sh in verse 9 thou shall ascend and come like a storm thou shall be like a cloud to cover the land thou and all thy all thy band and many people will come with uh, with thee sorry verse 10 thus says the Lord God it shall it shall also come to pass that at the same time 
shall things come unto thy mind, and thou shalt think an evil thought. You see the way they think evil thought. The way they think evil thought. We have seen it that God is against them. We have seen it that they are going to come against Israel. Let me read it again. Let me read it if I have not read it before. In verse 8. Verse 8. And after many days thou shalt be visited in the latter years. Thou shalt come into the land that is brought back from the, from the sword and is gathered out of many people against the mountain of Israel, which have been always waste, but it is brought forth out of the nations, and they shall dwell safely, all of them. God will give Israel victory in Jesus' name. Verse 13. Sheba and Diden, Sheba and Diden, and Manshant of Tashish, when we say Sheba and Diden in verse 13, it refers to Saudi Arabia. It refers to Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is a land of Marchant. It's a land of Marchant. With all the young lion thereof shall say unto thee, Are thou come to take a spoil? And thou gather thy company and take a prey to carry away silver, gold, and take away the cattle and goods, and take a great spoil. Therefore, son of man, prophesy and say unto God, Thus said the Lord God, In that day when my people of Israel dwelleth safely, shall thou not know it? You see? And thou shalt come from thy place out of the north part. Thou and many people with thee, all of them riding upon ox, and a great company, a mighty army. And thou shalt come up against the people of Israel as a cloud to cover the land, and shall in the latter days, and I will bring thee against the land, that the Eden may know God is going to bring them down, because they will come against Israel that the Eden may know me when I shall be sanctified in thee, O God, before thy eyes. God is going to sanctify himself before Israel. God will give Israel victory. This is a, a prophecy of end time, that there will be a coalition of Russia, a coalition of Iran, uh, Libya, um, Turkey, Ethiopia, and this coalition will will be a formid like a formidable force to fight against Israel. But when we say Israel, we also by extension the friends of Israel, which is United States of America. So we saw that they will also be against Sheba. Sheba and Dedan. Sheba and Dedan in verse 13 of Ezekiel prophecy, 38 13, refer to Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia, if you look at them, um, uh, higher per very high percentage, about 90 uh, percent of uh, Muslims are the Sunnis. This Iran, they are the shy group. They are different from the, a little bit different from the Sunnis. They are different in, in the area of uh, some area of operations. Why one set spread the hand, the other bring it? So these are these are things that we come to pass. So we pray that there will be no nuclear war. There will be no nuclear war. Any war, any nuclear war that is coming from Iran, let the power of God bring it down. Let God arise and fight for America and fight for and fight for Israel. Let God pull down Putin. All his agents, all his antichrist activities trying to cause World War Three with Iran. I come against it in Jesus' name. O oh God, arise and fight for Ukraine. Fight for Ukraine. Your word has come forth that Putin will go down. I believe your word. The prophecy has gone forth. I have sent it 
in a video to the whole world. Father, bring them down in the name of Jesus. Those coalition against Israel shall not stand in the name of Jesus. You said no weapon fashion against Israel shall stand. Every tongue that rises in judgment, they shall be condemned. We condemn every evil tongue. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Go deep into the world. There are revelations in the word of God. As we are guided by the Holy Spirit, God will continue to guide us. The Lord has told us that there will be war and rumors of war. If you are not, if you are there, you have not been born again. This is an opportunity for you to give your life to Christ. Time is going. Today is the day of salvation. You are there, you have not given your life to Christ. Christ can come at any time. The, the signs are all coming to pass. These collations are, take, are taking place in your eye, right eye. Wars and rumors of war are going on. Famine is going on. Inflation is going on. If you have not given your life to Christ, please, I plead with you to come to Christ this very moment. And you shall be made whole in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Subscribe and share. Subscribe, share. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.